Alright, thank you for clicking on this video and today what I'm going to share with you is how you are going to create a command line using Dart. So that means you're going to create an executable which I'm going to explain later. So I have with me a create folder executable that can be run anywhere. So if you were to go to your terminal, you can then type the word create folder. And this create folder, what it does is that it actually creates a folder inside your desktop folder. So if I were to name my folder test, then you could see that our test folder has been created. So it's actually pretty simple. Let's get started. All right, the first thing that you need to do is to open the shortcut menu, Control Shift P or Command Shift P, and then type in Dart, and you will see this Dart new project being open. Press on it, and this will open stage hand shortcut menu. It will display the different projects that you can use with stage hand. So Station is a Dart project generator. You can download it inside your machine. And these are the different templates. And these are the different commands for it. So you can install on your own. But I assume that VS Code has some sort of stage hand installed inside. So make sure you download like this. So once you have the VS Code shortcut menu, we are going to choose a simple console application over here. So let's click on it. For our executable, our main purpose is to just create a folder inside our desktop. So let's call our project create underscore folder. And let's save it into a project. So once you are done, it will look something like this. So the first thing that we want to print inside our terminal is that we will ask the user what should we name your folder question mark and then we will create a variable let's call it name and then we will use the standard input let's import it from the io dot package and then we will use this read line sync all right so read line sync means it read the line from the standard input so what standard input means is that it is the terminal asking you for an input. So it probably ask a question and then it will you have to type in the input. So we will save the input as the name. The next thing is that we are going to use this object called directory. So we're going to create this instance of a directory. And then inside this directory, it needs a reference. So it needs a path. So you will probably have to create a path, maybe put it outside. So you can type in final path equal to your path slash desktop or whatever, right? So put a path inside here. And then after that, you will add in your name. Because we are going to create this directory path name using this create method. So this create method has this recursive. So the thing about recursive is that if it's false, only the last directory in the path is created. So we want it to be true. So all non-existing path components are created. So let's put recursive as true. So this create is a future. We want to deal with it once it's done and once it has an error. So let's put then and then let's put catch error so for the then itself, we can create a print statement, print, and then we can type in a sentence, your folder has been created successfully at, and then you can insert the, so let's change this value into folder, and let's type in over here, folder dot path. Alright, so we will let the user know where is the folder being created. Next is that if there's an error, so let's catch the error and let's print unsuccessful creation due to and then we can just put the error and then we will just insert the semicolon. 
Okay, let's put this in the block body. Okay, looks nicer. So I've changed my path to my desktop. So once I've created a folder, it will be inside my desktop. So in order for you to run your main.dart file, what you need to type in is dart and then place the main.dart path. So it's under the bin folder, which is over here. And then you can type in main.dart and this will run your main.dart file. So let's name our folder as test. And now it has been created over here. So you could see that my folder has been created. It's empty. All right. The next thing is how are we going to then make it an executable? So there is this thing called Dart to Native. And what it does is that it will convert your Dart code into native command or AOT. So you can run inside Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So in order for you to create a standalone executable, you can just run this simple command. So let's copy this and let's paste it over here. So what does this dash O means? So dash O generates the output into path. What it means is that you are able to name your executable basically. Okay, so instead of my app, why not I type in create folder okay so if you were to go to bin you could see that there is our executable over here create folder so the next thing is that once you have created then you can run it something like this so dot slash bin slash create folder so once you do that then your executable will be running so what should we name your folder so you can say test again test 2 and you could see that our folder has been created successfully now the thing is I don't want to go to the create folder folder in my terminal to run this create folder executable I want it to run wherever I am inside my terminal something like flutter or whatsoever right so how flutter does it or any other executable right so Flutter is an executable to many more commands. So if you were to see a Flutter folder, you could see there is a bin and inside the bin, there is this Flutter executable file. So we have created a Flutter path to redirect any Flutter keyword to this executable. So inside your bash profile or your Z shell resource file, you actually created this path to redirect any Flutter keyword into the bin folder where the executable is found. So in order for you to create this Flutter-like kind of command, you can just copy what Flutter does. You can copy this path. I'll put in the link in the description and paste it over here. And then you can comment maybe for create folder in desktop. The next thing is open up your Explorer and then right click and click on copy path. So we can close this and under our create folder in desktop, we can paste it over here and we can remove our bin. All right. So with this, it will be registered inside our Z shell RC file. So you need to restart the terminal inside your VS code. You can just kill the terminal and open it up again. If you were to just type in create and, and tab it. You could see that our create folder executable is now global. So let's do that and see how it goes. Great. Our executable now can be called anywhere. So let's cancel this and maybe let's go to our, so let's go to our users file and see whether the create folder is present. Our create folder can be executed anywhere inside our terminal. So we can just write test three. Awesome. So that's it. You can see that all my folders have been created. So hopefully you are able to create different kinds of executable that you can run inside your terminal. So leave in the comment of your executables that you have created. Maybe you can host it inside your GitHub project and maybe I will take a look. So that's it. If you guys think this is useful, give it a thumbs up.
and if you want more of these videos subscribe and comment down below what other things you want me to go through so that's it stay safe and all the best bye bye